Joe Meyerowitz is an award-winning photographer whose work has appeared in over 350 exhibitions in museums and galleries around the world. He was born in New York in 1938. He began photographing in 1962. He is a street photographer in the tradition of Henry Carter Brisson and Robert Frank, although he works exclusively in color. As an early advocate of color photography, mid-60s, Mary Wiz was instrumental in changing the attitude toward the use of color photography from one of resi resistance to nearly universal acceptance. His first book, Cape Light, is considered a classic work of color photography and has sold more than 100,000 copies during its 30-year life. In the foreword of Caplet, he was asked why he was using color. He answered with, because it describes more things. When he says description, he doesn't only mean mere facts that the cold accounting of things of the frame, he really means the sensation he gets from things, their surface and color, his memory of them in other conditions as well as their connotation qualities. Color plays itself out along a richer band of feelings, more wavelengths, more radiance, more sensation. Meyerowitz completed the ambitious project of documenting and creating an archive of New York City's 29,000 arcades of Parkland. It is the first long-term visual documentation of NYC parks since the 1930s when they were photographed by part of, of Franklin Rovers' list WPA program. Adrian Benep, Commissioner of Parks and Recreation, has invited Mayorowitz to produce a comprehensive database for future use by the Parks Department and to share these images of the parks with communities in all five broads. Legacy like the Preservation of Wellness in New York City Parks was published by Aperture in the fall of 20. 2009, accompanied by a large-scale exhibition of the same name at the Museum of the City of New York. After spending two weeks exploring New York's many parks, Mayorowitz found himself drawn to the space in unruly landscapes. He, as he called it, we, wherever I went, I, it was the wild and the undamaged parts of the parks that called to me. I suggested to Adrian that I study this aspect of our parks, the places where nature, in all its rough edges, unpredictable wildness, yet within the city's boundaries, could be found. The artist also felt it was important for fellow New Yorkers to assess the city's natural beauty through his work. Begin, being in nature is an essential quality of life for most New Yorker citizens, who may not have the chance to get away from the mountains or seaside. He said, finding these quiet and sometimes spiritual places Inside the city would be a gift for them, and I wanted to share it with everyone." End of quotation. I think his work from the legacy it falls into the category of explanatory photographs. After reviewing his work, I realized that the color images can really express more emotions of the objects or in the photos. Thank you for watching.